So yes, uh, MJF is uh, he has walked out. He did not show up at the autograph or the fan fest today. It was a fan fest. Fan fest, yes. Scheduled to be there, he wasn't there. Wasn't answering his phone. Fans were angry. Uh, AEW was of course not pleased. And uh, at this point, word has gotten out that he has booked a flight. Yeah, well, that's that, that's. But we don't think he's actually necessarily taken the flight as of recording this. Red eye flight, which if it says red eye, that means that it's probably. I don't le- think he said red eye. Other I, people I, have said red eye. They say red eye. Okay. People well. have used the term red eye, which means it's probably ten eleven p.m., which means that there's several hours before he has to get on the plane. So we are having a. Very interesting. Um, I mean, look, this has happened before in wrestling. You know, the night before you have to do the big job. I mean, um, you know, I mean, people remember the Jeff Jarrett story, which is sort of like this. Um, there have been other versions of this over the years. Um, so, but we should make it clear that while we don't really know what's happening, <laughs> the the issue I don't think is over having to do a job for Wardlow. The, no, that's a it, deeper it issue. Be, but it's always a deeper issue. It, yes, it would be a deeper issue. But since this is a feud that is culminating after two years plus, if, if over well over two years, yes. Yeah, so if you are going to make a stand n- tonight, would be the night to do it. Yes. So I, I'm I'm pretty sure that you know if he's doing the job tomorrow, I think it's been abundantly clear that he's been scheduled to do the job since that's the storyline yes if wardlow loses he can never sign again so i don't think the crux of the issue is that he needs to do a job to wardlow uh, the the it is more a timing issue that if you're going to try to i guess get a more lucrative deal if that's what his end game is and you're going to uh, you know pro, you know it's like it's weird because it's like if you're going to do a strong arm negotiation tonight's the night the night before the big match yeah yeah two and like, a half years in just the just like we've talked about before that um, the one thing WWE could have always done is 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 the wrestlers could have the night before WrestleMania you know called for you know union unionizing or or you know holding up for more money or anything like that if they all stood with solidarity and this is one person so it's not going to make a huge difference but. Um, you know, he he picked the time and the place, and it's the you know again. So much of this is speculation because he's, I mean, he's definitely playing a game, which we we all realize, and how Tony's going to react to the game, um, I do not know, um, and we may we may know before you know before the night is over. This may not be our last show. There's and it may be. There's you know depending on what breaks and things like that. But right now he is scheduled to go on a flight in a few hours back home unless whatever whatever him and tony are doing or aren't doing and whatever the whole story is um i think that you know the tony khan side of the story will come out tomorrow if it doesn't come out today um but certainly tomorrow after the show and so the question is also if he doesn't do it there has to be a backup plan so what is the backup plan? And there's a, there's a lot of different... Well, I mean, there doesn't necessarily need to be... There's 12, 13 matches. Yeah, but they still have to do something with Wardlow and explain it. Sure. Well, well I think the, the, the most think, important thing is if he's not going to be on the show tomorrow, they need to get the word out quick. Oh, yeah. You don't want to do this deal where oh, he's oh, not oh, going to be there and, and you, you don't, don't mention it and you, he's just not on the show. They have oh, to oh, announce... Oh, 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 no, they'll announce at the start of the show. At he, some point. Well, they should announce prior to the show. If he flies home, if he flies home they no, need to announce they immediately. Need, no, no, no. If he flies home, they need to announce first thing in the morning. If not, if not even late tonight. Yes. They, yes. they, ha- they, they have to announce that. Um, the, minute, the minute they know um, or they, you know, whatever. Which also should actually probably tell us that he hasn't taken off yet. Because if he's taken off, the word should be out right now that there's no match tomorrow. I suppose he could fly home and fly back. He could. But, I mean, if the guy flies home at that point... Uh, uh, money talks. It does, and he, and, and, it does and talk, I, but... I, I would not be... It would not shock me. Uh, look, I've seen guys do that, too. I've seen... You could fly home and then, you know, make the offer and then fly right back. Um, there's a time frame on that, but, um, you know, it can be done. Um, I don't think that anyone wants it to happen, but um, that's not, you know, but if he gets on the flight, I would say that you certainly your odds of him being on the show shrink dramatically. Yes. So, and and there, as you said, there is a time frame. I mean, 
Well, he's got six hours before the show when there's not enough time for him to make it back. I mean, when do you make? Uh, I feel that they need to make an announcement. Well, they need to make an announcement when they know for sure. Yes, when they know for sure. If they don't, but know when for you sure. know for sure is the question. Is it three hours before the show? Because then there's no way he makes it by the end. I mean, it feels like okay. the sooner the better yeah, because the, fans have have they, you know they, they have well, to buy the all, paper. Every, everyone, everyone has their questions. Okay, everyone has their questions. But the thing is, is um, if they announce it at. 10 a.m. tomorrow or 2 p.m. tomorrow and by 2 p.m. tomorrow you know you pretty much you're it's pretty much a you know it's 2 p.m. our time tomorrow um you know that you're he's not getting back okay so if it's 10 a.m. or 2 p.m. and they make that announcement they've still made it before the show starts and that would be okay when the show starts obviously they need to start the show with it if he's not going to be there if everything's settled then everything's settled then it's not an issue but um, there's, you know, and then you've got to figure out how you want to, you know, the one thing is, is at that point, you want to do a make good. Um, what that would be, do you, is there someone you can call? And, you know, there's, there's always someone. I mean, I don't have a big one, you know, I mean, I think Bill Goldberg's a free agent. It's a weird one. There's also the idea where you could um, insert him, do a challenge, impromptu thing, insert him into a three-way in the main, in the main event and actually... You know, switch all your plans and put the belt on Wardlow. I mean, there's there's things you can do to remo- to change the narrative from MJF to not showing up to, oh my God, something incredible happened. You know, Wardlow won the title, not Punk, not Adam Page, um, and it's not in your long term plans. But again, a lot of times in these situations, um, you blow up your long term plans to. You know, give something that's that's so shocking that it will well not only jumpstart your chump, your company in a different not way. Not only that, but if if MJF goes home, yes, and I've already seen this on uh, on social media from fans that are like, "Man, poor Wardlow!" Like, been waiting two and a half years. Well, poor Wardlow. If, if they don't if they don't come up with an idea, poor Wardlow. But, but no, but, but if they come the up point. with you can come up with an idea to save Wardlow. But here's the point: no problem. There's already a great deal of sympathy for Wardlow right. if this match doesn't take place. Right. So it's not even like putting the title on him would be, you know, something shocking to do because you lost another match. But but, you know, sometimes things happen historically where fuck, that, look what we fell into. And that could be Wardlow it. could be so massively over tomorrow because A, he's already over. Yeah. And then on top of that, you'll have the feeling amongst fans that this guy got screwed because the guy walked out of the match on the biggest day of his career. And then and then and then he wins the world title yep. that same night. And, and it, he could end up being a massive superstar as a result of that. It, you know, I have seen these situations where something like this happens and you make the right call and it's a gutsy call and it ends up, you know, being huge. Yep. Um and again, I know there's, oh, he's not ready and all that. Well, you know what? Fuck that. Dude, in the history of wrestling, there have been countless people who are not ready. And sometimes it, wor- it works because, yeah. you know, your back's against the wall. It's a big show. And, um, you know, I mean, there's there's things that were done. I remember, you know, uh, look, when Brody and Snooker walked out of the tag team tournament final, what did Noki do? He had Fujinami beat him, which would have never happened. And... Everyone, you know, I'm not saying they all forgot about Brody, Brody and Snuka walking out of the finals, but this news story the next day was, okay, Brody and Snuka walked out, but Fujinami pinned Antonio Inoki in that tag team match, which would, you know what I mean? So you give somebody something much bigger. Wardlow winning the title is bigger than him beating MJF. Wardlow, it's much bigger. Yeah. And not to mention, if, if, if Wardlow, and we're doing a lot of fantasy booking here, but... But Tony's going to do fantasy booking right now in yep, case. If He's, Wardlow won this title... And obviously, he's not a worker like Kenny Omega or whoever, but it's okay to it have somebody different every now and then if he's over. It doesn't but my, matter. But my point is, he doesn't need to necessarily be a long-term champion. Of course not. He can be champion for four months. And if he wins that title and MJF is walked and Tony's not going to let him out of his deal and he's stuck there till 2024, and in four months, both sides are like, ah, fuck it, I'll just figure, finish this guy. And he comes back and screws Wardlow out of the title. Great story. I mean, it'd be a fantastic story. Oh, yeah, story. you know what happens then? You know what happens then when that happens, which actually is 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 the ultimate of the booking. What happens then is oh, this was all a work. It was all a work. It was from all day a work. One, yes. Yeah. Which there are people talking about this being a work, but it's not a work. It's not a work. You no. don't you don't fuck over the fans that paid their money. Not this and, company. Not this company. Uh, refund money and and you, people are pissed. I mean, it's not just you know. Of people course. are pissed about this. Of course they're. That he's that, that's one of the reasons why I say that if he can't deliver the match, 
he's got to do something big. Yes. Because because and it's this is this is in a lot of ways this is his big test. You know what I mean? Of, yeah. He has a real I don't know if the word is catastrophe on his hands, but he's got a real It's definitely a problem. It's a huge problem. It's a big problem. It's a big problem and and you know there's ways, you know, like do you get out do you figure out a way out of it that is the least bad or do you figure out a way out of it that is the most good? You know, and there's again, like I don't know, does like again, like the only free agent I could come up with, you know, for a singles match with Wardlow is Bill Goldberg and it's going to cost a ton of money and he could beat Bill Goldberg and it's big and it's something, but I think that the world title thing is a better alternative of the two. But those are the two alternatives. I can't come, you know, him going out there and go, okay, everybody, he won by forfeit. Let's throw Sean Spears in there and get four power bombs. Um, that's going to be what people. It will be a big letdown. For that's people. what people expect, and people are expect to be really mad about it. Yeah. So you give them something to where um, they expect to be mad, and you don't, and you you pull something out of your hat. You know, it's he's got he's got. Uh, whatever it is, it's less than 24 hours now. It's about six, you know, if he's going to find somebody, he's got very little time to put it together. Um, but, you know, that's, look, this is, this is a big test right now. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, wrestlingobserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.